In this second video, let's take a look at the part modeling environment in Alibre and everything we can do. Let's go. Here we are in the part modeling environment, and you'll see, I think most prominently, is this center area here known as the graphics display window where you can look at the part that you're designing. Now, in this graphics display, before we've modeled anything, we have several things in the graphics display. We have three axes we have the x axis. We have the y-axis, and we have the z-axis. These three axes all intersect at one point, and this is known as the origin. In addition, we have some planes. So if I look at the x-axis and the y-axis, these two axes put together make up the x-y plane. Likewise, the y-axis and the z-axis together make up the y-z plane. And then the x-axis and the z-axis make up the x-z plane, or the z-x plane. So all these planes and axes can give us references to different directions. So simply imagine that the origin is the center of the universe, or at least the center of the universe that you are looking at. Now let's take a look at what Alibre looks like when we have a part modeled. So this is what Alibre looks like with a part modeled, and I can use my scrolling wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. I also can left and right click together to rotate my part and inspect it. We have certain tools up above. So in this panel up here, I have buttons that are yellow and blue. And everything that is yellow and blue is in charge of adding or taking away material in various ways. These are tools to create the solid that we're looking at. Now, I can also change my part color. I can add my own planes beyond the X, Y, Y, Z, and X, Z planes. I can add my own axes and points. I also can insert an image if I'd like to trace around an image to copy the geometry. I have the ability to add certain variables that can affect and change the dimensions and parameters that I put on my part. I also have configurations, which if you've never heard of, it's a way of saying I can make different versions of my part. And then finally, I can generate to last feature. I also can regenerate all. What do those things mean? Well, let's talk about this left-hand panel now, which is known as the Design Explorer. This is also sometimes referred to as the History Tree because it is presenting us with a history of the part. The Design Explorer contains uh, all of the axes that we talked about, as well as all of the planes. Any images that you put in are captured here. And special views that you have, which we'll talk about, can exist here as well. But finally, we have features. Every time I add something, maybe I add a hole or something into this bottle, then you will find a record of that is placed in the Design Explorer. I have the ability to roll back the things that I've done and look at the model that I've made in an earlier state. I can also make changes or add features in this state and then I can roll it back forward to restore the things that I've already done. So if I roll the model back, I have the option to generate to last feature or roll it back forward into the state that it's currently in. And that's what we mean by generate to last feature. So here we have a history tree that encompasses the parts history on the left side. And then up here, I have the tools to add and take away all the different features of the part. Well, thank you so much for watching, and in the next video, let's talk about how models are actually made. See you then.